Hello students. So in this video card, there are some errors. We need to find four errors. Okay. Read this section of program code that inputs positive numbers, discards any negative numbers, and then outputs the average and input of zero ends the process. So here two post condition, two post condition loops are used. Uh, and uh, that is repeat until uh, here there we can see two times repeat here until and here also inside this repeat until another repeat until is there. So here this inside repeat until is used for validation because here we need to discard any negative numbers. That's why repeat until is used here inside this this repeat until. So when the user input zero, the program need to stop. Okay. So here total equal to zero. It's used for finding the total. Yeah. Then counter is initialized. It's one hundred. So this is an error for counting and for totaling. We always initialize variables to zero. Okay. So this is the first error in this pseudo code. So error one. In line. Error one in line two. So what's the error counter equal to 100. So What's the correction here? Correction, we need to set initialize it to zero, okay? Fine. So here, the outside repeat until. This repeat until is used to repeat until the user input zero, because if the user input is zero, uh, zero then we need to end the process. So repeat until number equal to zero. Okay, this is okay. This uh, pseudocode is okay. Is uh, line three and line nine because we need to stop when number reaches zero. Uh, when the user inputs zero, inside this repeat until there is another repeat until for validation to check whether it's a positive number or not. So if it is a positive number, then the system need to accept. If it is if it is a negative number, the system need to discard that number. So here. Repeat, so this repeat until it's a post condition loop, okay? Because it's a condition checking is only at the end of the loop. Repeat input num until num less than zero. So here num less than zero in repeat until the loop stops, exit when the condition becomes true. So if the user input a positive number, then the system need to accept that number. Okay, and uh, the system need to exit that repeat until in uh, inner repeat until. So when we check this condition, this is wrong because if the user input five. What happened? Five is a positive number. Five less than zero. Five less than zero means it's false. So what happened? It asks for uh, we need to input another number, but actually the file need to accept and the system need to exit terminate that loop inner loop repeat until. So we need to change this condition to num greater than zero. So here until num greater than zero. So if you input five, what happen? Five until num five greater than zero. Yeah. Five greater than zero is right. So the system need to accept that number and the system need to go to the next line. Okay, so if uh, if it is num greater than zero, then what about uh, minus five, negative five, negative number, negative five greater than zero, that is false. So the system repeats the same 
statement line phi again input now because minus phi negative phi is a negative number so the system need to reject discard okay and the user need to input a new positive number that's why so the next problem error is with line six error two line six is until num less than zero so what's the correction so correction is until num greater than zero uh, one thing is there until num greater than zero greater than it should accept zero also yeah because uh, the system need to accept zero because zero is used to terminate the outside loop to stop the program to end the process yeah so we need to uh, use equal to zero also okay that's also very important uh, num greater than or equal to zero so if the number is zero or more than zero then system accept that number input then it can proceed okay next error in line seven total equal total plus one this is wrong because totaling means total equal total plus our new number it is num so instead of this one we need to use num in new m so error three in line seven so lines total equal total plus one is zero total equal to total plus one is the error so we need to correct that error correction total equal to total plus our num So case sensitive. So variable name should be used properly. So it is case sensitive. Okay. So uh, here is the correction. After correction, it, it looks like this. Next error. The find error. Counter equal to counter plus num. This is wrong. So for counting, it is counter equal to counter plus one why we use counter here because to find the average for to find if, if you want to find the average we need how many numbers we input yeah that's why we need to use counter here into increment we need to find how many numbers you input or how many positive numbers you input that's why okay so counter equal to counter plus num that's the next error error four Out uh, it's line eight. Line eight counter equal to counter plus num. So we need correct correction is counter equal to counter plus it's one you need to count like that so these are the four different errors then until now equal to zero so when the user input zero what happened this condition becomes true and it'll exit from this outer repeat until then 
average total divided by counter minus one. This is right. This line 10 is okay, right? Why they decrement this counter? Because zero, actually zero is not a number. Okay. So when the user input zero, it accepts. Yeah, it is okay. Then it comes here. Counter equal to counter plus one. So what happened? Counter counter will increment. Okay, but zero we need not we need not want to count that number. That's why because zero is used to terminate that program. Okay, to stop that process, to end that process. Okay, so what we need to decrement one counter minus one. That's why. Okay, so these are the different errors in this pseudo code. Then we can implement this. Pseudo go to a program. File new. So first total equal to zero. Then we need to set counter, initialize counter to zero like this. Then I uh, in repeat only actually. In Python, there is no repeat only, so we need to use while loop. So we need to write just opposite condition, okay? So while, so we can use two while loops. While, so the first outer loop, repeat only, you can see the condition is num equal to zero. So what's the opposite of num equal to zero? Num not equal to zero, okay? Then, uh, another repeat only for checking to check whether the number is negative or positive. So here we need to use another while loop. While num. So here it is less than zero. So what is the, uh, what is the uh, actually the correction is here. Yeah, here num greater than or equal to zero so this is until condition yeah condition and repeat until so we need to use the opposite okay. and use the opposite that means if the number is negative then we need to repeat so the words opposite process uh, like and equal to becomes less than if number less than zero then system need to continue so the condition becomes if the number is less than zero, the condition becomes true and it will ask, uh, it will, we need to enter a new number again and again, like that. So here, uh, input num, num equal to int of input. Okay, fine. Then next, so two while loops, then total equal to total plus num. So outside this inner repeat on uh, repeat on that is this while loop okay. Total equal to total plus this is totaling. Then we need to increment the counter. Counter equal to counter plus one. Okay. Counter is equal to counter plus one. Then we need, we need to find the average and we need to print that average. But the average, it's outside all the loops. So outside by loop, average equal to total divided by counter minus one. Okay, then we need to print the average. Okay. okay, so here, one important thing is there, but here it is not in zero code. Because in zero code, we use uh, post condition loop. Here it's precondition. So num not equal to zero. We need to initialize this num here in this Python. But it's not needed in 
pseudocode. Okay. Why? Because in Python program we use precondition, and in pseudocode it's post condition. In Python, this repeat only is not available. It's uh, only for loop and while loop is available. Okay, that's why. So we need to initialize. Otherwise, it, it will not work. Uh, to initialize not equal to zero. So we need to initialize not to zero because we need to in enter this loop inside this loop. So it should be a, a number which is not zero. So again, say it's one, okay. Other than zero, we can uh, initialize a number which is uh, other than zero. If you input zero, what happened here? Zero not equal to zero, that is false. So it will not enter inside this loop. The program will not work. So num equal to one. If it is other than one, then it's fine. It will enter. One not equal to zero, right? So it will enter here. Then inside this one less than zero. So actually we need to input enter here also. One, if you input uh, one, what happened here? One less than zero, that is, so it will not enter inside this also. So what, it is good to put minus one. Num equal to minus one. So minus one not equal to zero, right? Minus one less than zero, right? So it will enter. So uh, we can input a new number. So this new number will replace, replace this minus one, okay? Then the process, uh, the program will work. Then uh, if we input another negative, what happened? It's also true, so it will it will ask again and again. If you input a positive number, uh, for example, five, five less than zero, false. So it exits, it accepts and exit. Then it finds a total, it counts, then finds the average and print. So we can check, is, is it okay or not working or not, okay? File, save, then F5 is a shortcut for running. So I'm going to input some numbers, four, five, six, minus two, five, zero. But some mistake is there. And then once again, minus one, not equal to zero. So here the problem is, for example, if you input five, so at first minus one, okay, not equal to zero, minus one less than zero, right? We input five. So five less than zero, it's false, then it exit. Then zero, uh, zero plus five, five, total is five. Then count will increment. Then what happened? Comes here, five not, now, num is five, yeah? five not equal to zero, right? But the problem is here, five less than zero, it's false, so it did not enter inside. So what we need to do here, we need to change this. We need to, we need to read here, actually, inside this. We need to add one line more like this. Okay, so num equal to end of input. So we can input here. Okay. So it will work. So we can check. So now here, uh, here we can put positive number also other than zero. Okay, negative number is not needed. Negative is also okay. Okay, one module we can check. Five, two, minus one. So it will not accept them. Yeah. It was negative. Then minus six, seven. Then when, when I put zero, what happened? Yeah, it will stop. So uh, the program will accept only positive numbers. So that is five plus two, plus three, plus seven. So only four positive numbers, yeah? So 17 divided by four. That is 4.25, right? Okay. So now the program is okay. So this is, so we need to make some changes in program, Python program, because uh, so this is a repeat and this is 
wild lobia that's why okay thank you